Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Aiden and his mate Raven who are just chilling out. Um, Aiden had a bit of a mishap in the last episode. We found a bug and uh, it actually was patched about two hours after I recorded the episode. So poor Aiden got the tail end of a, a bad string of luck there. But he should be fine. He'll recover. He just got knocked out for a bit, but he's feeling a lot better now. But before we begin, we're going to go ahead and roll to see if we can turn off mate permanent because it is the start of a new episode. Our target is an 18 or higher. And we got a 2, so nope. <laughs> we got to leave it on this episode, but it'll go down to 17 for the next one. So let's sniff around. I think Aiden is going to probably avoid hunting elk for a while now. Um, he's a little bit uneasy. He kind of wants to build up his confidence again. So I think we're going to try and go for some easier prey here. Maybe a mule deer. It does smell like a buck mule deer. Oh, there's a bear. That's certainly not easier prey. Uh-oh. Um, we'll put our tail up. Just kind of as a warning. I think that's all the bear is doing too, is kind of warning us to uh, keep our distance. And we're just going to pass on by. I think it's, yeah, it settled down again. So, oh, there's the mule deer. I actually see it now. Uh, that was a little nerve-wracking, but we should be fine. This will be a much safer hunt for Aiden, so we shouldn't have to worry about that, especially now that this is a, that glitch has been fixed. So if you, if you got that glitch, yeah, it kind of sucked, but they did get it dealt with. Oh, there's some coyotes here now. What? How did you get- oh! <laughs> it got a little stuck on the rock, I think. It wasn't quite sure what to do, but uh, we'll go ahead and try and chase it down, see if we can catch it, and... Here we go. We caught up to it. Come on, Raven. Are you going to join in? We are in Wapiti territory, so we got... Oh, we hit a rock. That's what happened. We got to be kind of cautious because we are in Wapiti territory, so we don't really want... Uh, we don't really want uh, issues to happen here. All right. It's still able to start, so it's not too... Uh, not feeling too poorly. We got to try and catch it and drag it down again. Come on, Raven. Go for the throat. You can go for the throat. Yes. Good job, Raven. Oh, man. Here we go. She got it. Ow. We did get kicked off. That hurt quite a lot. But, um... Oh, we almost got it by the throat, too. We can get it by the side. Raven, you gonna go in again? Oh, she has got it by the throat. Oh, man. With with her attack, we probably will be able to bring it down fairly quickly. Oh, we only got the leg that time. She's got the side, but it is definitely not faring too well at the moment. It's hurting for health, and a few more good bites should do it. So, there we go. We have uh, got him by the throat, and he's down. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. I think that'll start to, uh, to boost Aiden's confidence confidence again because he is feeling a little uneasy after having gotten knocked out like that. But we'll see if we can find, maybe if we if we look on the map, how close to the edge we're very, very far from where any strange wolves are. Let's actually, though, the better test is actually the smell test. Do we smell stranger wolves? No. So in that case, I think we're safe to lay down. I think that's more what the wolves will look for. They don't know really where the territory, um, <laughs> where the territory starts or end unless they can smell it. They un or unless they happen to remember. So we'll try and go with more of a smell test. Did somebody show up? Who is this? There are coyotes. That oh, that's Raven howling. Oh. This is, uh, this is who's here. Let's, let's go ahead and give them a bit of a, bit of a lesson here. Yeah, you better run. Raven's gonna come after you. Oh, Raven is gonna come after you. All right. And she's made sure they have been chased well away from our carcass, but we'll go back and kind of chill out here. We managed to defend it. And once these guys are feeling a little more confident, once Aiden is a little bit more reassured of his abilities, he may actually try taking on a uh, moose calf with Raven. Now, that is pretty dangerous, but if we do happen to find one, we might try to go for it, because I definitely do want to see them test their strength. I think they should be able to do it. I have actually done it on, uh, on accurate difficulty by myself. So, oh, who have we got here? Oh, it's a fox. Let's just kind of, um kind of scare him off. We'll go ahead and give that confident tail and uh, give him a nice little run off there. But we'll go ahead and eat as well. Just kind of get our health back up. And that's a nice little warm up for the episode here to, uh, to get Aiden back in shape. So he certainly should not be having too many troubles with the hunting. He's got his head through a log. That's fine. <laughs> Oh gosh, Aiden. He maybe maybe he's got his head resting on top of the log. That's what I'm gonna say. Um, and we'll chill out here. Thus far, they haven't been discovered by the Wapiti Pack. 
and uh, we'll let them eat again when they wake up here. I think their carcass is nearly... Oh, I spoke too soon. We do have Wapiti Wolves here. Let's, um, we're both at full health. Let's see if we can, uh, we'll go ahead. We will give an aggressive snarl, kind of try to ward them off. Ooh, that was a scary one. See if we can, uh, see if we can kind of get their attention. They are, they want to fight, but that one is definitely a little bit more on the flight side, it seems. We'll go ahead, put our tail out. Oh, hey, Raven, get off, get off, okay. All bets are off, this is a fight now. Wait, I need to lock onto this guy. You're the one that came after Raven. All right, Wapiti 3M, you're going down. You do not touch my mate. I know she can handle herself, but you do not touch my mate. Oh my goodness, all right. You are going down. Aiden is not gonna show mercy. Until you run with your tail between your legs, Aiden is not going to back off. <laughs> He's feeling, I think, a little bit more uh, confident after last episode's battle with the Posca Pack. So there is another Wapiti Wolf somewhere around here. These guys are just taking him on. Oh, man. This guy is going to come in probably. Oh, he's got, he's got Aiden. He went straight for Aiden, and Aiden is out of stamina. Okay, rest for a minute. Rest for a minute. And running again. We'll grab this guy. Raven, you going to help? Raven is going to help. They're going to do quite a lot of damage quite quickly. The, this, this tactic is helpful um, of, uh, of, of going for the same wolf, making sure you're going for, for the same wolf here and not, um, not going after different ones because if you, if you concentrate your damage, then that uh, makes it a lot easier to handle them. Oh, hey, get off of, get off of Raven. Hey, leave her alone. He is going to turn on this wolf, though. This is 2M. Oh, no, we got grabbed again. All right, oh, Raven. Raven broke the grip, though. We'll kind of keep this one busy for a minute. Oh, Raven's going in and chasing that guy off. Let's see if we can handle 2M. I don't... Aiden's not really... Oh, hey, get off of her. Get off of her. We're gonna... We'll kind of switch targets again. They are trading off here. Aiden's really not a killer from what, uh, from what I know of him. He's not... He's out to prove a point. He's not out for destruction. Um, he'll let them go if they go running, but uh, he he's definitely not going to let them off easy, that's for sure. Turn around and grab this wolf. Now it's kind of just a matter of, hey, 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 get off a of raven, though. Get off a of raven. If you get yourself into a situation, though, like if this wolf goes after, after raven here, and um, where is raven, by the way? Are they running? They're on the run. Okay, Aiden's gonna kind of bolt after him here, I think, and give this one a kind of a kind of a parting shot. No, not the one that's more injured. He'll give the gray one a bit of a parting shot here, just to make sure they uh, they know well who they're messing with, and they had better run out of here, otherwise they're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> and of course, here is our carcass again. So we fended them off. Let's give a nice little howl here together, and. Um, they're not... Oh, they're on the run, yeah. <laughs> Let's give a howl here. We'll go ahead. We'll put our tail up just as a kind of a reminder of who's boss here. And uh, then we'll settle down again. They are still lurking around, though. Where are you punks headed? They're still lurking around. Aiden's going to go give them the what for here and make sure they know to get the heck out of here. It might be their turf, but it's not anymore. Aiden is going to make sure that they get well away and Wapiti 3M should run off as well. Raven, you okay there? <laughs> she kind of hit the rock a little bit hard. But let's head back up here and um, we'll return triumphant. There's a snowshoe hare, but that, uh, that he's not going to do us any harm. And I think Aiden's a little tired for the chase right now. We'll let them both settle down here and rest. So they definitely have got this whole fighting thing pretty, pretty well down at this point, I'd say. They haven't been tested against numbers, but uh, when it comes to a 2v2, they've definitely picked up on the tactics. And I think that might make Aiden a little bit... Uh, a little bit overconfident. He might kind of want to uh, prove a point, perhaps, to the um, Junction Butte pack, which is the one that keeps uh, keeps attacking him. And are they actually going to finish this carcass? It's as good as done, so I think they're going to just head off into the woods here. There is an elk herd nearby, and there's also... Is this Wapiti pack again? This we actually we actually unclaimed this part of the territory for them. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> so who is this Wapiti Pack again? Okay, 
we're gonna kind of head this way. Aiden doesn't really have much beef with them. They're kind of just there, but I think he still feels a little indignant over the, uh, the, the Junction Butte pack, so he's gonna move in that direction. Now, granted, we do tend to anthropomorphize these wolves a little bit. In the real world, wolves are a lot more basic than that, if I may use that term. Like, they don't have these complex, like, you know, Aiden wouldn't be having a desire to prove himself. He would just be saying, there's another wolf, it's threatening me. I don't, I have something to protect so I can't run, in this case, a carcass. I'm gonna stand my ground and fight, versus being a little bit, a uh, little bit more humanized and saying, I've got something to prove to the Junction Butte pack that they're not going to, um, they're not gonna be able to chase me off forever. I'm here to stay. I'll do what I want, regardless of what they, what they tell me, basically. That's a little bit more of a humanized version of, uh, wolf behavior. So just keep that in mind that we do anthropomorphize a little bit. I try not to do it. Who are these guys? Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I don't know who these guys are, but they're gonna get bit. Oh, I didn't even- Ow! Get off, get off, get off. Okay. Who is this? Wappity 2F. Oh man, Wappity reinforcements have arrived apparently. Who's this punk? Hey, hey, get off my mate. Excuse you. No, we're moving through your territory. We were not going to, uh, we were not going to cause you any trouble until, uh, until you came along and did this. I mean, I suppose they pretty much have every right to be mad because, um, oh hey, get off a raven. They have every right to be mad because they are, um, we're technically trespassers, <laughs> and oh, that was not so good. Let's see, Raven's after this one, if we both go for him. Oh no, this guy's got me. Raven, I could use a hand here. Thank you, Raven. All right, let's, uh, or I guess that's technically a female. Raven had her pretty solid there, uh, did a fair amount of damage, it seems, I bet. Oh, no, she's got me again. Raven, I could use a hand. I could use a hand, Raven. Raven's got her, all right. If you could just keep her away from away from me for a minute. She's a tough wolf, man. Both of these guys are. Hey, get off of her. Get off of Raven. Hey, get off of Raven. Get off of Raven. Okay, 2F is a little bit weakened as well. Again, we're dealing damage pretty equally to them, which is not optimal. So maybe, maybe just when I thought that we had this down. Let's keep trying to move. Raven! Raven's in trouble. Okay, we're going back to help her. Let me go, ya punk. All right, Raven's okay. Raven, get out of here. Oh man, Aiden's actually in a bit of trouble here. All right, get off of Raven. Let's let's uh, let's beat a strategic retreat here. I don't think you know Aiden will come back for him. Uh, Raven's here. We're just we're moving through the territory. We don't have a real reason to fight, and uh, we'll we'll get moving this time. They're understandably mad that we chased off their pack mates. But we, our quarrel isn't with them. It's it's with another pack. So there's their scent marking and. Um, how close are we? We're very close. So we've just crossed over the threshold of the territory. They're going to stand right over there. And you know what? Aiden, being a little bit of a punk, the punk that he is, is just going to look him dead in the eyes. And uh, <laughs> he's going to he's gonna give him a bit of a what for. They're going to continue to patrol. But we're not uh, we're not gonna mess with him now. He he's not his quarrel isn't with them. He he'll show he'll show him what's up. But he's not um, he's not out out for anything against them specifically. He just wanted to defend his carcass before. And understandably, oh, that's a bear. Raven, let's not, oh, the bear's actually on the run. Hey, <laughs> the bear's on the run. Get out of here. Let's let's go ahead and uh, we'll chase the bear. Okay, we'll do our nice confident tail emote here and give this bear a nice nice run off. Oh, okay, now, now it's actually turned around to fight. <laughs> let's not mess with it. All right, um, Aiden's kind of like that. He's confident, but then when it comes to, uh, when it comes to something that could actually be dangerous, is a little bit more of a, oh, hey, maybe we shouldn't do this moment. <laughs> but let's sniff around. What do we, there is a hair, um, there is a hair trail right here. We can go ahead and grab that, kind of stay full on food, I think. And we'll find somewhere just to kind of chill out in this territory, I think. Aiden's down on health, so this is probably not the most fantastic place in the world to sleep. But again, we'll do their sniff test. We don't smell any stranger wolves, so Aiden's gonna feel all right. Um, oh, let's let's go ahead. We'll give a nice little play bow because Raven has just rolled for us here, and that's often a playful gesture. Aw, she's gonna roll again. We will uh, we'll play bow like we're gonna kind of bounce there, <laughs> just like dogs, just like dogs playing. 
and then we'll kind of settle down to rest, I think. And uh, there's a decent chance we're going to get ambushed. I just hope Aiden's health will recover before we do that because he is feeling not quite his, uh, his full self here. Oh, we got some snow falling too. That's pretty neat. Well, it's always really pretty when it snows. I like the weather effects of this. I think this, the thunderstorms are some of my favorites, though. They're just so dramatic. Let's get up. We've got who's over here? It's another hare. Okay, let's eat, and then maybe we'll grab that hare over there before um, before it runs off. All right, and got him. <laughs> perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll kind of settle down over here now. Aiden is definitely a lot more full on health. Raven is pretty much almost completely full. I think she's got a tiny sliver, sliver of health that's gone. But for the most part, she's feeling pretty good. It's just Aiden who's a little bit more down at the moment. So maybe they don't have the fighting quite as far down as I thought they did. They they have been pretty, doing pretty well against it recent or in the fights recently. But uh, that last one did, definitely didn't go as well as I was hoping it would. But we'll kind of let these guys meander around towards the edges of um, Junction Butte territory. There's actually another hare right over here. Man, they're just popping out of the woodwork at us. We don't even have to work for our food. We're just uh, just finding it. But let's take another sniff around, see if it's a safe area to sleep in still. Because I would like to get... Oh, we've got... Hold on. I, know, I saw her play bowing. Who are these punks? Who are these punks? Female dispersal wolves. Who's this? Who's this? Aiden's curious. He's going to follow the trail and see. He wants to know who's trespassing. Who else is in the area? He's kind of curious as to whether or not this might be his old rivals, I think. Or I should say rival, because at this point, um... At this point, there's only one. Raven took one of them out. Uh, she killed one of the Pahaska females. It wasn't necessarily their intent, but these wolves wouldn't stop fighting. Who's this? Who are you? Who is this? Pahaska 19F. Get out. <laughs> you. You are not supposed to be here. It's almost like she's following Aiden. You know, in a really weird way. I think, you know, they haven't been the nicest wolves, but it, it seems like they might be developing in a, in a weird way a sort of respect. I mean, her persistence has to be admirable. And, um... I mean, definitely there's not a good relationship between them. I'll look at the audacity of her laying there, but in a way there's sort of a rival's respect between them, I feel. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they've they been a formidable a enemy, but unfortunately one of them didn't quite know when to quit. Are you running off? Is she coming in for a fight? No, she's going her own way. We'll put our tail up here just to give her a little bit of a last warning. And she's going to head off into the night. But uh, she definitely has uh, has been a pretty formidable enemy. And her persistence is pretty, uh, pretty admirable. So I, I feel that for all the rivalry, there definitely is a little bit of respect there. And uh, honestly, you know, I think Ra I don't think Raven and Aiden didn't want to necessarily kill her sister. It kind of just happened in the heat of the fight. Her sister didn't back off like she would have been expected to. And unfortunately, that did cost her her life. These two were kind of just defending themselves at that point. They were defending their kill. And so, I mean, there is a strong rivalry for sure. But I wouldn't necessarily say there's a hatred. Um... Aiden is definitely cautious and doesn't want her messing around, doesn't want to, uh, doesn't want to make, give her any leeway to think that she can cross him, but I don't, I wouldn't go so far as to say that he hates her. He'll run her off if given the chance, but I don't think he hates her. He's just, he feels the need to defend himself a little bit less so now that she's alone. I think he does feel kind of bad for her sister having died in the fight with them. But at the same time, it kind of wasn't really a thing he could do too much about. He wasn't going to just back off and give them the carcass. And yeah, he kind of... He definitely... It wasn't what he would have wanted to happen. He's not a really particularly ruthless wolf. But um, it did happen. <laughs> and uh, he does feel a little bit... I think he would feel a little bit bad for it. Again, that's kind of a humanized thing. Because in the real world, if you trespass on another wolf's territory, then you're fair game. There's, They're not going to have any qualms about taking you out. And we've even seen that here with the Wapiti Pack and how... Um, 
how hostile they've been at Ravens making sure that Fox knows who's boss. But, uh, yeah, they, they definitely have, um... Is she standing her ground now? She kind of did for a minute there. That was pretty cool. Let's see if we can help take her out, though. We can work together, and I think we shouldn't have too much trouble. We are definitely in the heart of uh, Junction Butte territory right now. Can we get a good throat bite? Yes. Is Raven going to join us? Yes. And down? Down? No, barely not. There we go. Just two health left. Oh, my goodness. That was one lucky mule deer for a second there. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, again, it is very, that is a little bit more on the humanized side. There wouldn't really be pack rivalries or whatever like that, and, uh, wolf wouldn't have any qualms about killing another wolf if it was, uh, trespassing on their turf. So, again, that's a little bit more on the anthropomorphized size side of things, but, uh, it is, you know, sometimes we do work a little bit of that into our stories, because it makes it easier for us to connect with the wolves. Who are these? Is this... Who is this? Who is this? What wolf is this? Who are you? Junction Butte 2M. Isn't this the guy we thrashed before? He's definitely looking a little scared, and he's a little down on health himself. So, yeah, you better you better run, man. We don't, we don't want to kill you, but you're definitely not going to take our food, even if we did kill it on your territory. <laughs> oh, these poor wolves just don't know what to do with Aiden. He waltzes in here like he owns the place and then chases them off. And, uh, yeah, they, they really probably don't know how to handle that too much. <laughs> oh, goodness, we're breaking the laws of nature just a little bit here. Is it back further this way? No, I think it's up further this way. There's the scent trail. I see it. Oh, it's right over here. Here we go. But I think we're actually going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So quite a lot of fighting. These two are maybe getting a little bit more confident than they should be. I'm a little worried they're going to come up against something they truly can't handle like they almost did. But hopefully we'll roll soon to be able to turn Permadeath off so that at least Raven's a little bit less uh, less in danger because I do still worry for her quite a lot. But I don't think Aiden's personality would be that worried for her. Not that he doesn't care about her, but she's proven herself so competent, so capable, that at this point, I don't think he's... Unless he sees her in danger, I don't think he's overly worried for her safety. I mean, in the back of his mind, he's just going, oh yeah, Raven's got this, and I'm a little concerned that one of these days, Raven's not gonna got this. And, uh, yeah, the sooner we can get that permadeath turned off, the better. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.